Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Rio Yanez. I'm the curator of Hybridity. And we have an amazing, amazing night, an amazing convergence of artists and influences. Um, it's my first exhibit that I put together as a curator. And, but it was definitely a collaborative process with another one of the artists in the show, Mei Suzuki. Um, this exhibit came out of a series of dialogues we had while we were students uh, at CalArts, California Institute of the Arts together. And um, after bouncing off all these ideas and talking about culture and identity and aesthetic influences, um, I was just really inspired to try and assemble a show that kind of brought those different elements, talking about identity and talking about our creative processes and what influences it and how we see ourselves and how we see the world. So hybridity is, is the, the result of that and it's a, quite an amazing collection of artists and I'm, I'm really, uh, really fortunate to have worked with a lot of these artists and bringing them together. I think a lot of the pieces uh, are definitely looking towards the future, uh, looking towards the future and talking about identity, uh, talking about aesthetics, talking about the creative process. And some of the pieces I think are a little cautious and some are very optimistic about the future. But I think what I want the cumulative effect to be when you walk in here and see the works is that the possibilities are endless. My name is Mara Naomi and these are my watercolor paintings of clown themed Japanese characters. I do sumo wrestlers, ninjas, and other geishas. Uh, Japanese character actors. They're basically about my experience as a Japanese, half Japanese American and uh, my Japanese culture clashing at times with the American culture. Mostly um, has to do with my experiences in Japan and seeing how the Western culture kind of desecrates everything there. <laughs> Um, or you could just think they're kind of funny because balloons are coming out his butt. This is great. I'm very excited um, to be in Rio's show. It looks great here. Great. Do you have a website or something? I do have a website. It's marinaomi.com. Okay, my name is Lydia Nakashima Negaron. And um, this piece, uh, this map, uh, I made it uh, while I was artist in residence at the Young Museum uh, during the month of January. And uh, it was a way of honoring all the journeys of my grandparents and also showing um, not only the, all the movements of them, but also the historical events that made um, my, my birth in Chile happening. Like the atomic bomb in Hiroshima uh, killed all my relatives uh, from Japan. And so my Japanese parents couldn't go back to Japan, so they have to stay in Latin America. And uh, then I include here the coup d'etat in Chile that made um, the reason why I went to Hawaii to study. And so made my own migration from Chile to Hawaii and then to California. So the map is a way of kind of showing all these lines that have created me in many ways and kind of mold my ethnicity. Hi, I'm Cynthia Tom and I'm part of the Hybridity Show here at Sormart's Cultural Center and my installation, which is this large room you see behind me, is called A Place of Her Own and each one of these little boxes represents a theme uh, that kind of exemplifies my concepts of, of things that are very important to me, that I live with every day in my head, um, that I see visually, or that I want to see visually, um, music I want to hear, that I'm inspired by. And part of the reason I was invited for the hybridity show with this a place of our own is because I'm Asian American. And most of the boxes here, a lot of them represent, um, I speak Spanish, I don't speak Chinese. Um, my biggest influencers are Picasso, Lenore Fini, who are, they have their own box, and uh, Thelonious Monk is my hero, as is R.E.M., believe it or not. These are people who were, who were always courageous and listened to their voice, and the, and the, the audience found them. So 
Yeah, and I love chandeliers. I don't know if you could see them, but uh, everything in here has deep, deep meaning for me, and it keeps me inspired, and it also makes me courageous. My name is Nicole Schack, and you are at Hybridity for Somart Sculptural Center. My piece is called Ode. And, um, you know, hybridity is actually a subject that is really near and dear to my heart. And it's something that I often deal with in my pieces, either both on a literal level and on a conceptual level. Um, I come from a background that is very mixed and I think it really influences um, my memory and obviously my cultural identity and the imagery that I choose and I really do try to choose imagery that is really a mix of just ephemeral stimulus, environmental stimulus and things from my memory and it's really interesting to see so many people and their take on that subject matter, to really see the cross-cultural references and the unexpected presentations for a lot of the subject matter. So I think it's, I'm, I'm really honored actually. So.